Working with high tensile wire requires some special techniques. Here is a simple technique showing how you can easily break the wire without any use of wire cutters. Make two uh, bands on the wire so that the wire forms the letter C. Slide your thumb to the wire, twist the wire around your thumb making uh, a bend in the wire, uh, twist it back and forward and it should snap easily. Making a good connection to the end post is essential. Place the wire uh, like shown here, get the end of the wire, twist it around, make a handle in the end, tie the knot, uh, twist your hand around the wire to make it sturdy, and then bend the wire over to get a good break in the wire, big, bend it under, twist around with a big loop in the beginning, and ending off with four to five twists. Simply break the wire off and see how important it is to have a handle on the wire. And that's it. Good and sturdy knot. Here we can see how simple it is to use our wire cutter to help you uh, doing your fence installation. This is a multi-tool that has a, is, is useful to have around. Here we are placing the egg insulator to the wire. Tightly twist the wire around the egg, making sure that the band comes on the center of the egg insulator. Again here use a handle to help you to manage the wire, make a good tight twist, uh, four to five twists, and then easily break the handle off by twisting uh, to the other direction. It is good to have the first turn wide and open and then finish up with some tighter uh, wrappings. Tying the wire back to the egg insulator can be a tricky it's good to wrap the wire around your leg and under your heel. That way you can control the tension of the wire, really making sure you make that tight wrapping around the insulator by giving some stretch uh, uh, back and forward with your leg. Twist around the wire and break it simply off. Here we are demonstrating how to use the tube insulator to connect the high tensile wire to uh, an end post. First you need to cut your tube uh, insulator to the right length. You will then also need a mullet in the right size that fits uh, around the tube insulator, making sure that it doesn't uh, uh, harm the, the surface of the, the insulator. Then you just hammer the mullet in and place the insulator at the right height. After that, you thread the wire through the insulator and again make the same simple knot, place the wire over, go between, get the wire, bend it through, make a handle in the end, tie the, tighten the wire to the post and then make a loop and then end up with some uh, tight wraps. Here we are showing a simple technique how you can join two wires together with an 8 knot. Make a loop in the wire, thread the other wire through, make a new buckle on the wire and twist it around the wire. Uh, then you have your 8 knot, slide it together, help the wire so it will uh, slide more easily together. Then end up by uh, wrapping the ends uh, three to four times around the wire and breaking it off, uh, leaving you with a smooth and strong connection of two wires. This is one of the strongest ways to connect high tensile wire, giving you about 80 to 90 percent strength. Using a wire strainer to make uh, a good tension on the high tensile wire is an effective way. Simply use the handle to take off the tension from the clips in the 
wire tension wheel, take the clip out and then easily wind up the wheel increasing the tension of the wire. When the right tension is reached, hook the handle to the wire, put the split into the wheel again and that's it easy and effective way to tension your wire at any time.